up. Oh, well, what are you doing in all our groceries? So on our sale, um, Brie fell. How hard? Really hard. And where'd you fall into? Uh, the oven. The oven? Brie fell into the oven right there. That is where our oven was held so it didn't gimbal when we don't want it to gimbal. This stuff right here is what was right there. I unscrewed it. This big hole, this goes into, and that's how it locks our oven in place. But check this out. This is bent now. And so now I need to figure out how to get that unbent so we can put this back on. So our oven gimbals again. Or so our oven doesn't gimbal all the time. Projects never stop. This start or a port side locker in our cockpit vibrates horribly when we're going. It annoys the dogs, it annoys us. Um, so I've been working on cleaning this out. And I'm going to install this vibration. It's really just insulation tape. But we'll see if it does anything. I don't even know if it's gonna stay. But I'm gonna try to make it stop vibrating so much. Where did I glove, guys? Go on. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, you're always such a good girl. barge and a tug that white thing is its lake this is lake michigan you can see it out there and that's my wife and that's scooby-doo and that's a psycho dog <laughs> Got some Chicago food going with our friends. Ooh, look at this spoon. <laughs> I know, right? Got some tofu with rice. Friends told us about a marine donation store, so we're gonna go check it out while we're in town. Bree's got some trash in her hands. What's the blue triangles? Pieces of our bed. Pieces of our bed. Portion of our bed. From the V birth. Yes. To make it fit better. Are in the car. Here's our new fender for the locks. It's about as big as Brie. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> so along with that, we got these um, winch covers. 
And we got another winch. A new winch. For what? For our um Jesus Pete's, I forgot what you said. The roller Furling line. Furler. Yes. Because line. when we're under pressure, pressure our jib lines are on both of our winches right now. So rather than having to take one of the jib lines off to put the roller furler line on, we're gonna install a new winch. Just to have it there. Also it'll be nice for like you know, wrapping it around and holding it reasons. Well, that was just like a quick little video of us looking around Chicago, doing a little projects on the boat, buying a new big old fender. We found this awesome store that our friends Jonathan and Morgan told us about that you saw in the video. Um, nautical donations. It's like a goodwill for boat stuff. It's like a goodwill for boat stuff, yeah. So we got that winch. Um, we got a giant fender. So we're just waiting now. Owen and Kayla are bringing their boat to get it unstepped. And then we're going to go down the river. Um, we're probably going to leave earlier than them, which is going to be interesting. But they are opting to do the Chicago River. So you can do the Chicago or the Calumet River. And both of those feed into the Illinois River. We are really close to the Calumet River entrance. There's a break wall. It'd be two hours to get to the Chicago River. So we're probably not going to do that. And we're probably just going to go down the Calumet River. We're going to go to the Joliet Free Wall. And you're allowed to stay there for 72 hours. So we'll probably leave on the 27th really early. We'll bring our car back on the 26th at night. We'll come back to our boat on the 27th. We'll leave really early in the morning and we'll do our first lock ever. And then we'll get to Juliet Wall on the 27th. We'll stay there till the 1st or the 30th or if there's a 31st, the 31st, I don't know. Um, and then we'll leave with Owen and Kayla, hopefully, and their cat Vesper, who threw up a ton on their passage. And I added that little video as well in of their passage. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your dogs, tell your teachers, tell your aunts and uncles. Have a good one.